Hi friends, this morning I wanted to read a book to you that is called When Sophie Gets Angry, Really, Really Angry by Molly Bang. Now, I want to look at her face. This must be Molly, our main character. Character's the important person in the story. Look at her facial expression. I can see what the illustrator did with her eyes. It looks like her eyebrows are coming down this way and this way. And her mouth is sort of small and tight and a little frowny. She looks angry. Have you ever been angry? We all get angry sometimes. A little mad. It looks like Sophie is getting very, very mad. Let's find out what made her upset and what she can do to fix it. Because we all get upset sometimes, mad or angry, and we need to know what we can do to make it better. When Sophie gets angry, really, really angry. Sophie was busy playing when it's my turn! Her sister grabbed Gorilla. No, said Sophie. Yes, said her mother. It is her turn now, Sophie. As her sister snatched Gorilla away, Sophie fell over the truck. Oh, is Sophie ever angry now? Look at that facial expression. She's got her eyebrows going this way and this way. The tight, small, frowny mouth. Yep, she looks mad. What is she upset about? She didn't want to share with her sister and take turns. She tried to grab, and she fell over a truck. So she kicks. She screams. That's yelling. She wants to smash the world to smithereens. She's so angry. She roars a great big red, red roar. So she's yelling and screaming. She has so much anger. Sophie is a volcano, ready to explode. So she's got all this mad inside of her. And when Sophie gets angry, really, really angry, she runs. Pa-bam! She runs and runs and runs until she can't run anymore. Then, for a little while, she cries. Now she sees the rocks, the trees, and ferns. She hears a bird. She comes to the old beech tree and she climbs. She feels the breeze blow in her hair. She watches the water and the waves. And the whole wide world comforts her. Sophie feels better now. She climbs back down and heads for home. Sometimes when we get angry, we can't leave. We have to figure out a way to calm down where we are. So we can't run. 
Could you close your eyes and picture going someplace else and imagine it? Close your eyes and think about someplace that's really quiet, someplace where you've always enjoyed it and felt peaceful. Maybe there's trees and birds. Maybe you can hear a little water like at the beach. And it's so calm. You know, you can go there in your head, in your imagination. You keep your eyes closed and you think about that place and you take a deep breath. And then you let it out. And then when you head for home, like Sophia's, all you have to do is open your eyes and come back to that place. And you let that anger go. Take all the mad, put it inside of a balloon, and let it go. Up, up, up. You can picture it. So here she is. She's calmed down. The house is warm and it smells good. Everyone is glad that she's home. Because even when she was angry, they still loved her. Everything is back together again. And everybody is happy that she's back. And Sophie isn't angry anymore. So she can picture that place in her mind. That place with the flowers and the trees and the water. And she can calm down by picturing that place in her mind and going there, taking her deep breaths, putting all the mad inside of a balloon and letting it go. Then she can come back and everybody is happy to see her calm because they loved her no matter how upset she was. We can do that. When we get really, really angry, we can imagine that nice, calm place in our mind, that place that we love. And we can go there and take some deep breaths, think about how quiet and nice it is, put the anger in a balloon, let it go, and open your eyes and come home. Let's try that the next time that you're upset. 